DJI just launched the dual camera Air 3S drone and there's something new hiding in the nose, a LiDAR sensor. It's there to provide extra crash protection after the sun goes down, a time that's often dangerous for drones. The Air 3S also has a new main camera with a larger sensor, more suitable for low light flying. And it now comes with Active Track 360, first introduced in the Mini 4 Pro, allowing it to zoom all around your subject while tracking them. There's a bunch of other small improvements to the storage and more, all at the same price as the Air 3 was at launch. To see if it lives up to DJI's hype, we tested all the new capabilities, paying particular attention to the new night flying obstacle avoidance. The Air 3S looks much the same as the Air 3 and weighs just 0.1 ounces more at 1.6 pounds. Since it's over 250 grams, you need a permit to fly it in the US and elsewhere. DJI does offer propeller guards for a bit of extra safety though. The camera module is also a touch larger because it now holds a 50 megapixel camera with a one inch sensor and a new 24 millimeter f1.8 lens. That's up from the previous models one by 1.3 inch sensor. It supports 4K recording up to 120 frames per second, along with a D-Log M to improve dynamic range. The secondary three times zoom camera is unchanged with a one by 1.3 inch sensor, and it supports the same video specs and color modes as the primary camera. The Air 3S now has DJI's ActiveTrack 360 system. Once you start tracking a subject, you can change the camera angle using the on-screen control wheel. It'll then figure out the best way to get there while avoiding any obstacles. It does that using six vision sensors, two downward facing infrared time of flight sensors and the LiDAR. Another key change is 42 gigabytes of internal storage up from eight gigabytes on the Air 3. Something that'll be handy if you forget or fill up a micro SD card. You can transfer files to your PC from that internal storage, either by a Wi-Fi connection or the drone's USB-C port, which works even if the drone is turned off. As for performance, it can hit up to 45 miles per hour in sport mode. That's very fast and there's no obstacle detection, so you need to know what you're doing. In normal mode, which does support obstacle tracking, you can fly at up to 23 miles per hour. Battery life is excellent at 45 minutes or about 38 minutes in the real world. Like the Mini 4 Pro, the optional charging hub now supports accumulation to transfer power from the weakest battery to the strongest. You get about 12.5 miles of range in the US via DJI's latest O4 transmission system, or half that in Europe. One small change is that the Air 3S now transmits 10-bit 1080 60p video, improving remote video capture quality. I tested the Air 3's ActiveTrack 360 function with subjects walking, biking, and riding. I tracked my car to see how the system worked at higher speeds and it performed well, staying locked on my car while dodging trees and power lines. We found a bike trail among some widely spaced trees and another in denser foliage. In the first section, the drone weaved smoothly around obstacles while keeping the bike in frame. The drone occasionally hesitated when I encountered obstacles, which spoiled some shots, but it never crashed or lost track of the bike. Things weren't quite as easy on the dense brush trail though. When I changed the camera angle, the drone would occasionally pick a bad route, get hemmed in by branches and stop. A few times, the propellers nicked leaves or branches, throwing the drone off keel. It never crashed or took any damage, but I replaced the propellers out of an abundance of caution. That taught me that the Air 3S sensors can miss small obstacles, so it's wise to stay out of those situations and use propeller guards if you can't avoid them. You also need to make sure the drone has enough room to change camera angles when using ActiveTrack 360. Later, I took the Air 3S out at night to test the LiDAR, flying it up around trees and next to buildings. Previously, this would have been very risky, but the Air 3S successfully detected and avoided all obstacles. This new low light capability will be especially helpful when you need to bring the drone home in the dark. Keep in mind that the LiDAR only works in the forward direction, so if flying at night, avoid going backwards or sideways. To test the video quality, I shot aerials with the Air 3S at dawn, daylight, and night. With the larger one-inch sensor, 
4K video is more detailed than ever, and it produces vibrant, accurate colors and nice skin tones. It also does a great job in variable light conditions when using the D-Log M setting. That came in handy when we were biking in the forest with a mixture of dappled sunlight and shadows. The 4K 120 frame per second setting is nice for creating dramatic shots with moving subjects, and there's no discernible loss in quality. The Air 3S promises up to 14 stops of dynamic range, matching high-end mirrorless cameras, impressive for a drone. If things are too bright, DJI includes an ND filter kit to reduce that brightness and avoid high shutter speeds that can make video look choppy. The secondary tele camera has a 70 mm equivalent lens with a 1 by 1.3 inch sensor, the same as before and similar to the one on the Mini 4 Pro. It's not as sharp as the main camera and not as good in low light. However, DJI tuned it to closely match the main sensor, so it's now easier to combine shots from each. It also supports D-Log M video to boost dynamic range. The three-axis mechanical gimbal allows for incredibly smooth footage, a hallmark of DJI drones. And if you need to shoot photos, it produces sharp and color-accurate raw images that can be manipulated in post for great results. The Air 3S is DJI's most technologically advanced drone yet, thanks to the LiDAR sensor, updated 1-inch camera, and ActiveTrack 360 subject tracking. The obstacle detection is a strong point, and while the drone isn't invulnerable, I felt very safe flying it once I figured out what it can and can't do. As usual, DJI's main competition is itself. The Mini 4 Pro is priced at $759, but has inferior image quality. The dual camera Maverick 3 Pro has a larger sensor that produces slightly more cinematic images, but it costs $2,199. The only real non-DJI option is the $2,099 Hotel Evo 2 Pro 6K, which has just a single one inch camera and is also a lot more expensive. With the reduced difference in video quality and superior obstacle detection, I think the Air 3S is actually a better choice than the Mavic 3 Pro for most creators. If I were in the market right now, this is the one I'd buy. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And for more on technology, check out Engadget.com.